Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Over the past year or so, I've done a few videos on an application called Xire Photo. I've characterized Xire Photo as being like Lightroom Classics Library Module on steroids because with it, you're able to search a catalog of images for very specific things. For example, you have a catalog of images and with Xire Photo, you could search that catalog for images that have, say, a lighthouse in them, or a waterfall in them, or the moon in them, or the color purple in them, or images that have a waterfall with the moon and the color purple in them. And the best thing about Xire Photo is it will return your search results within a second or two. The thing, though, is Xire Photo is a standalone app, and it doesn't integrate directly with Lightroom Classic. Xire Photo, though, does sell a plugin for Lightroom Classic called Xire Search. And Xire Search has many of the same features of Xire Photo, and you do not need Xire Photo to use Xire Search. In today's video, I want to show you how to use Xire Search for Lightroom Classic. Now, it installs like any other application, and when you install it, it will be installed as a plugin in Lightroom Classic, but you cannot use it yet. You must run an, initial, an initialization process. To do that, you go in your library module, and you go up to Library, and you go down to the very bottom, Plugin Extras, and then over, and you can see all these different ways you could search, but towards the bottom, you'll see Initialize Photos. What it will do is when you... you choose that, it will go through every single image in your Lightroom catalog and determine what is in that photo. Does that photo have a lighthouse in it, a statue in it, a fish in it, a blue sky in it? And it will create a database of keywords for that photo. Now, the cool thing, though, is it does not write that keyword database directly to your Lightroom catalog or to your images. So it is non-destructive. It creates its own database and it uses its own database to search. You do have the option to transfer its keywords to your Lightroom catalog if you want to, but by default, it will not. Now, this initialization process does take some time. XR says that for 10,000 images, it will take around an hour. I have a little over 80,000 images in my Lightroom catalog and it took around six hours. Uh, so it is dependent on your hardware as well. So it went a little faster for me. But once it does it, you'll be able to do these super fast specific searches that I'm referring to. Now, when you import new images into Lightroom, by default, it won't have those images initialized. You'll need to run the initialize process again, but it doesn't go through every single image in your Lightroom catalog, the, when you do this, it will just initialize images that aren't already initialized. You do have the option, though, to have it initialize images during the import process, and I'll show you how to turn that on at the end of the video. Right now, I just want to do some quick searches. So I have my Lightroom open, as you can see. Now, to access it, you must be in Lightroom's library module, and you must go to the library tab or menu at the top down to the bottom. Plugin Extras. Now, Plugin Extras is available uh, in other areas, like in File menu, but you can't access it from the File menu. You have to go to the Library menu, down to Plugin Extras, and then you could see, you could search by Example Photos or by an external example photo. By, let's say you don't have an image in your Lightroom library, but you, you know you have one similar to a different one, you could do it that way. Search by Keyword, Faces, People, Duplicates. So if you think you have duplicates in your Lightroom catalog, it will search for duplicates. Uh, you could transfer keywords. That's where I mentioned that it doesn't write the keywords directly to your Lightroom catalog or to the images, but you do have the option to transfer them. Then you could initialize photos in here. You do this at the very beginning, and then every time you import new images, you go back and initialize photos. If for some reason their database got corrupted or it doesn't seem to be working right or anything, any reason whatsoever, you need to reinitialize. You could go and reinitialize your entire Lightroom catalog if you want to. Now, let's just do a quick search by keyword. All right. Now, I 
you have the keyword search dialog box here. Just type in a keyword to search for. I mean, I know I have giraffes in my Lightroom catalog. Let's search for giraffes. I'm going to GI. You can see I just typed in GI. I had already found that I have 345 giraffe images in my Lightroom catalog. I didn't even have to you know, write the entire word. So I want to search for giraffes, so I need to add it to my search criteria by clicking that plus sign. You can see it's there. Now, if I wanted to, I could add to this. I want to search for giraffes with blue sky. I could do that. Or giraffes that have birds in them, and I could do that and just keep adding them to the search criteria. Or giraffes with yellow in the image somewhere or a different color, blue or whatever. I could do that. I'm just going to search for giraffes. All right. I know there's 245 or 345 of them. I'm going to search the entire catalog and I only want to return the first 100 it finds. I could do all of them, but I'll just do the first 100. And if I have any other previous results, I'll overwrite those. So even if I searched by faces or by photo, if I click here, it's going to overwrite that previous search. So I'll only have one search available, my last search. Um, so we'll just do that just so I could show you how it works and we'll click start and you could see that within a second, maybe a microsecond, it returned all those hundred images, the first hundred images it found of giraffes. And then it comes up with this little information box. It just says a new collection XR search has been created for your search results. So it takes the images it finds and it puts them in a collection. You could see over here on the left hand side, it says XR search. You must set the sort option of the collection XR search to custom order to have the photos sorted according to your search criteria. You could set that by going up to the view menu, changing it the sort to custom order, or just click OK. Down here at the bottom, you could do it here as well. Change it to custom order, and this is the order it found them. And you could go through, just make sure that it found all elephants, <laughs> all giraffes. All right, so my mind just drifted. Okay, so there is all the giraffes that are in my, or at least a hundred of the giraffes are in my Lightroom catalog. Let's do a different search. Let's go again. We're in the library module, go up to library, down to plugin extras. And this time let's search for faces. All right, and let's search for portraits of elderly people. I have it set up already, all right. Now it says 18 photos match the search criteria. I could search the whole catalog. Well, what if you want to search the film strip? Well, if I click it, you're going to find that there's zero here. But let's just say that I'm in a folder and in my film strip, I know are some elderly people's photos there. So we'll go up to library, down to plug in extras, then over and down to faces. And again, we're going to go to portraits of elderly people. There's six here and we'll overwrite the previous results. So it's going to get rid of all those images of giraffes, not elephants of giraffes. And we'll click start. And there I found the six images of it, what it considers to be elderly people. And it put them in this folder again of XR search. And there's the six overwrote the images of giraffes. Now let's just do another search. I want to show you what happens if you don't overwrite the results. Where does it put those search results? So let's go up to library again, down to plugin extras. Then let's go by keyword again. All right. And this time let's put elephant. All right. So I found elephant right here, 143. We're going to add that, but look, we still have the giraffe there. So we need to get rid of giraffe. We're just going to search for elephants. Uh, let's return the first uh, 20 elephants it finds. And let's search the entire catalog and let's not overwrite the previous results. All right. So you could just change these settings to what you want and then click start. And you could see that it found elephants. Now, if you go over to the left-hand panel, you'll see that it created a collection set called Xire, and inside of the collection set is a collection that it calls elephant with the date and time, and it has those 20 elephant images in there. And if you look further down, you'll notice that my images of the elderly people, the six images are still in that Xire search collection. So it did not overwrite those. So that's a quick overview of Xire search for Lightroom Classic. And I mentioned that 
you have the option to have it initialize photos during import. To get to that, you need to go to your plugin manager. That is found under File, and then down here, Plugin Manager, and then on the left hand panel, go to XR Search. You have some options here. You could back up the XR Search database, you could reset it or restore it. You could do a fast initialization, that explains what that is. Go on down in here and during import, initialize photos during import. By default, this will not be checked. Check it. Now, if, let's say, you're building large previews when you import images or your computer's really slow and you don't want it to be bogged down any more than it needs to be, you could have it wait until a certain number of sec uh, seconds after the import is done before it will start initializing photos. So if that's the case, just put a, like a really large number in seconds there, like, you know, for several minutes so that it will finish its import process totally before Xire Search initializes those photos. You also have the uh, option to transfer the keywords from the Xire Search database to the Lightroom's database if you want them. Uh, I don't have that. And you have some other options as well. So you could go through all of that. So make sure you do that and you'll be able then to not have to run the initialization process more than that first time when you initially install Xire Search. So that's it, Xire Search for Lightroom Classic. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.